We have added Retrieval Augmented Generation to Conversational AI. Now this allows your voice agents to access and use large knowledge bases during their conversations. And instead of loading the entire documents into the context window, with Rack we can only retrieve the most relevant information for each user query, so that makes it a lot faster, um, a lot smoother, and you know it scales a lot better with your large knowledge bases. So now before we dive into the details, let's have a look at the demo. So here I have a new agent to tell me uh, basically, you know, chess from the Stripe team to help answer questions about Stripe. So currently there is no knowledge base on this agent. And so if we now try this out and ask some specific questions. Hi, I'm Jess. Ask me anything about Stripe. How much payment total payment volume did all businesses process on Stripe in 2024? I do not have access to that information. Would you like me to help you with something else? So in this case, we're using Gemini 2.0 Flash. Now, these large language models are trained on a lot of information, but you know, obviously they have a cutoff date and they don't know all um, the necessary information you know, about your business, for example. So what we can do is we can upload documents to the knowledge base. So we can say here we want to add a file and what we can do is we can take the Stripe annual letter here, which is pretty long, um, and add that in. And then lastly, what we need to do is we need to enable rack. And so now the rack indexing happens. So while that happens, let's look at how rack works. So the user query is being analyzed, uh, and then an embedding embedding is generated for the user query. Um, now at this point in time, we're basically generating the embeddings for the chunks of the document. So that was already finished. Now we can save that. Uh, and then we can do the retrieval where we can do kind of a, a similarity search for, you know, content that is um, relevant, and we can uh, inject that context into our users query. Okay, so the big benefit here is that rack is fully vertically integrated into conversational AI. So if we go into the advanced settings here, you can see that you can configure the rack settings. Um, and you can see rather than you know, this using a third party service, it is actually built into the 11 labs conversational AI platform, meaning that all your data stays securely within our systems. And you know, there's no calls out, which also makes the latency component a lot quicker here. So you'll see that later when we make the request. Now, I was hoping this would take a little bit longer because then we could actually listen. Dear Stripe community, businesses on Stripe generated 1.4 trillion in total payment volume in 2024, up 30. There we are. So this is um, a great project we worked on with the Stripe team where we cloned John Collison's voice. And so as you heard him say, 1.4 trillion in total payment volume. So now that we have provided that information to our agent, so we can look um, at the document here, we can see 1.4 trillion in total payment volume. We can go um, back and we can try this conversation again. Hi, I'm Jess. Ask me anything about Stripe. What is the total payment volume that Stripe processed in 2024? Stripe processed $1.4 trillion in total payment volume in 2024. Was there anything else I can help you with regarding Stripe? Uh, that's, that's fantastic. And so what percentage of the global GDP is this? That volume is equivalent to around 1.3% of global GDP. Did you have any other questions about Stripe's payment volume? Or and there you go. You see how snappy this is. What we can do now is we can dive into 
the conversation history. And so when we look into the transcript here, we can see that there were rag queries happening. Uh, and we can see that we were looking at specific chunks of data. And so you can see here in the chunk that is our relevant context. And that was provided to the LLM. And now it was able to answer our question about the total payment volume and the percentage of the GDP. There you are. So that is how quickly you can get started with RAG in conversational AI. Now, obviously, if you are using the API to generate your ag agents to set that up to upload um, documents, you can also use our um, code examples here to get started with that. Um, and as always, we'd love to hear what you are building, you know, what are your conversational AI use cases. So do let us know below what you're working on. And I will see you next time. Until then, Bye-bye.